Hai hai semuanya, gue Zeno Balik lagi masih di game Alfred Hitchcock Vertigo Sepertinya uh, game-nya udah mau tamat ya Terus di sini juga si Ed Berani melawan semua ketakutan-ketakutan dia Sehingga kemarin itu uh, Dia akhirnya berani untuk naik motor dan uh, Keluar kemungkinan mencari Jenny Ya apalagi yang akan kita hadapi setelah ini kenyataan-kenyataan apalagi dan misteri apalagi yang akan kita hadapi kita langsung aja ke game ya yuk thanks robert for coming right away it's no problem i got the first flight available anything you need sweetie Robert, this is Sheriff Nick Reyes from Cerro Lake. Pleasure. Please. So, why the urgency? Is this about Ed? Has he gotten worse? Uh, Robert, this might seem a little odd, but... Do you remember if Veronica had an unusual scar? What? I don't know. Why would you ask that, sweetie? Mr. Carrigan, we're asking about a very particular scar. On the right glute. Working too much. Honey, you, 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 you can't just barge into the Cerny's yard without permission. And you certainly cannot take Skippy. But he was hot. He's a puppy, honey. He doesn't know how to swim. And that pool is really deep. Sweetie, they were only scared, that's all. They thought you wanted to hurt the puppy. But I... Just put yourself in their shoes for a moment. Imagine if someone took you to the park without your dad's permission when he wasn't around. And let's just say that, God forbid, you fell off the slide and hurt yourself. Wouldn't your daddy tell that person that they couldn't take you to the park anymore? You can't tell daddy. I don't want you to. I can't lie to your dad. Plus, we should always tell the truth. Sulit mm. ya. Tapi karena Veronica ini anaknya deket banget sama papahnya harusnya Kalau iya dia bakalan memperumit masalah X juga Kayak ada I swear I won't do it ever again, promise Please, pretty please Oh honey, if I don't tell him, he'll find out from someone else Okay, here's the plan. 
I'll put the dirty towels in the wash while you think about what you'd like to eat. Then I'll fix it up for you in a jiffy. What do you say? Let's just say that, God forbid, you fell off the slide and hurt yourself. Wouldn't your daddy tell that person that they couldn't take you to the park anymore? Hmm, it wouldn't hurt me that bad. Then how would I blame her? Yes, a nice big cut would do, but it'd be hard to blame her for it. I could cut myself with a broken glass, but she'd have to be the one to break it. Dari kecil udah. Nyusun strategi yang jahat mulu ya nih anak lu So kita harus di mana? Gue penasaran pengen liat Gee, why do they always set everything up for the grown-ups? Do you think we are still... So, Veronica, what would you like to eat? I want a PBJ and a Juicy Red in my Fruity Glass. Oh, a PBJ and a Juicy Red in the Fruity Glass. Everything tastes better in that Fruity Glass, doesn't it? Oh, oh, what a klutz. I'm sorry, honey. Um, let me get the broom. Don't you move a finger until I clean this all up, okay? I'll get you another glass just like that one before you even know it. They sell them at the... Oh, look, that must be your daddy. Mm-hmm. 
pergi kemana? She's fine, thank God. But I need to talk to you about something a bit, well, a bit sensitive. Will it leave a scar? Did you know that most brave little girls have scars? Now you'll have one too. And you know what else? It'll be shaped like a V. V for Veronica? Yeah, V for Veronica. Daddy? Is Mary crazy? No. No. It's just... Don't you worry about it, honey. We'll find a better babysitter. No one will ever scold you again without a good reason. I love you so much, Daddy. You build it, Samuel. Okay. Sampai di tempatnya si keluarga Franklin. I still can't believe you built a bunker on the ranch. <laughs> Neither can I. There's so much to keep in mind. For example, it has to be close enough to the house so that you can get to it quick before the bomb goes off. But it can't be right underneath the house, because that's the first place they'll look. Knowing you, nothing in that bunker was left to chance. Eddie, honey, you sure love that swing. Come on, now you sit up straight, and I'll bring out some of my apple pie and your favorite juice. Juicy blue? Huh? Ah. Woman, you're spoiling that boy rotten with all that junk he sees on TV.
to. Knowing you, nothing in that bunker was left to chance. You bet. I'll show you the blueprints one of these days so you can see for yourself. I think they must still be somewhere in the barn. Anyway, thanks for the chess piece, son. I'm gonna put it somewhere special. Rumahnya di dalam situ. Tapi aku mau keliling dulu ya. Kita lihat siapa tahu ada yang bisa dibuka-buka. Hmm. Bunker entrance could be anywhere. Can't hurt to try. Nope, doesn't sound hollow or metallic. Jangan langsung ketemu lo. Mau keliling dulu. Could be in that field, but without any kind of sign, it'll take me years. Maybe I can see it from up above. Doesn't seem to be here. who knows no fright one more time no 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 captain roberts needs to head to the sink so much swashbuckling <laughs> is making him stink Terima kasih Who's taking care of you? Siara Friends datang ke sini terus merawat kudanya. Ada, soalnya fotonya udah nggak ada. 
I think those blueprints are still somewhere in the barn. Anybody there? Sheriff? Aduh, sorry banget kepotong videonya soalnya tiba-tiba kameranya overheat. Jadi gue diemin dulu, habis itu baru bisa mulai main lagi. Oke, kita langsung lanjutin aja ya. Mungkin ada scene yang kepotong sedikit, sorry banget. Give me a reason. Hey, come on. Chill. Robert. She was two years old when I adopted her. I had always thought I'd be compensated somehow for not seeing her birth. And yet, I've seen her die twice. <laughs> Mr. Garrigan, I beg you. You don't know what it's like to lose your daughter, Sheriff. Mr. Garrigan. I do know what it's like. In fact, I relived it not too long ago. Sorry. I... I can't, Julia. I just can't. This whole time... She was alive? Not a single call in eight years. It can't be her. Robert. No. No. Why would she call me? She hated me ever since I had her committed. How did she die? What was she doing all these years? Was she happy? Robert. Hmm. Time the truth. Yeah. Her mental health deteriorated, and I don't think she was happy. 
She spent all these years planning her revenge on Ed, and she had no qualms about removing anyone who got in her way. She wanted to drive him crazy, but her plan failed. As for how it all ended, we're still not sure why, but she fell off the Brody Canyon Bridge and... Due to the extreme height, and the fact that it took us a while to find her body, her face might... No. Perhaps the scar we mentioned might be more helpful when it comes to identifying her. That's really all we need. Why? Why? If you care about those fingers you write with, you better start explaining why. Why? Please. Why did you kill my uncle? Adam, your uncle was my friend. Did you talk with the sheriff and Dr. Lomas? They know I'm innocent. Bullshit. You might have fooled them, but not me. You're an accomplice in his death. An accomplice? Adam! You always wanted to get rid of me, as a kid and as a grown-up. You took them away from me. You stole their love, fishing, chess, the shared afternoons. You took them away from me, and you still weren't satisfied. You wanted the ranch, but I was going to inherit it, wasn't I? You wanted to threaten him to change his will, but never had the balls to. Because you've never had the balls to do anything! Your little friend did the dirty work for you, and it all got out of hand. She killed my uncle, and you killed her for screwing up, out of rage, to tie up any loose ends. Adam, that's insane. I'm done. Did you kill my uncle? Adam, I didn't. I don't care who pulled the trigger. Did you kill my uncle? I know where you're... Did you kill my uncle? No. No! I had nothing to do with his death. Nothing. You just won't give up, will you? All right. I want to know before I lose it. Three. Oh, oh my God. I do. Uh, I, 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 I. This is not who you are, Adam Franklin. You're a good man, but if you do this. Don't you dare talk to me about good men. Please, I beg you, don't cut my finger, Adam. Please. I'm about to lose it. Oh. Your aunt is alive, and I know where she is. What? She's in the ranch bunker. There's no bunker on the ranch. The blueprints are downstairs. I know where the entrance is. You asked for ah! There's a bunker. You prove it. Uh, according to the blueprints, it should be here. We 
You should hear the sound of metal. <laughs> it's right here. There's no doubt about it. Visitor? Did you know that most brave little girls have scars? And now you'll have one too. And you know what else? It'll be shaped like a V. V for Veronica? Thank you, Mr. Kerrigan. My own sense of the tap dance. We got the key. I'm on my way. I need to go to the Franklin Ranch. Let's catch up later. Sure. Can I stay a little longer with my daughter? Mr. Carrigan. Perhaps... Would you like to meet your granddaughter? Wow. di situ Esther dan Jen kalau bisa kenapa mereka bisa di situ kalau ada kenapa mereka bisa di situ Are you Esther? Can you hear me? We're going to get you out of there.
Go get her. Seru-serunya salah pinjat itu. Master, look at me. It's Eddie Miller. It's Eddie. You killed Samuel. Take flight. Who's the only pirate to stay and fight? Stay away from her, you monster! Serunya. Oh, my dear boy, what did I do to you? It'll heal fast. Don't worry. The ambulance is on its way. They'll have to run some tests and. Uh... <sighs> we. Had all kinds of things. Food and water. You know Sam. Um, Mrs. Franklin, if you could, you know, when you're feeling a little better, maybe you could tell us what happened? I told Sam that it was too late to cross the woods. That he should take the car instead. But he insisted on walking to your house. He said he wanted to remind you about your fishing plans. But I know that he just wanted to have a beer with you. I was surprised when he came back so soon. He, he wasn't himself. I said, Sam, what's wrong? What did you see?
Itu apa dong? Hmm. Let's do this tonight. Same time. You better not be late. <laughs> well played, kitty. I told Sam to call the police right away, but you know how stubborn he was. He said he'd tell you the next day when you went fishing. He didn't think much about it. He said a lot of youngsters did target practice in the woods and that she was probably shooting at squirrels. We didn't sleep well that night. We got up earlier than usual. Just before dawn, while we were having breakfast, we heard a car. We thought that was odd. But that wasn't the case. Sam! Oh my god! Sam! She made me cover him with no. a blanket. And then she dragged me away from him. She locked me up with the baby in the bunker and said she'd be back in a few hours. installed a phone down there. I tried to call the police, but I no longer knew what time it was. So I braced myself for her return. How am I going to live without him, madam? What will I do? Well, you could get ready for dinner. Otherwise, Jenny will be asleep when her grandma gets there. Oh, I forgot about Eddie's apple pie. I hope I didn't burn it.
Jenny, sweetheart. Tell your daddy to stop that and come play with us. <laughs> He's ignoring Grandpa. <laughs> huh? If you keep that up, you'll finish writing that novel in record time. Maybe. Does ten years sound record breaking to you? What's on your mind? This morning, I finally got a call from my acquaintance at the state adoption agency. It seems like the agency that Robert hired for Veronica's adoption hid relevant information about her biological family. What? They molested her. They broke her. They... I don't even want to think about it. Bastards. Does that explain everything? Why she was a psychopath? Mm, perhaps? It's possible. Many victims of abuse become abusers themselves. Veronica's trauma ran so deep that not even Robert's love could save her. Perhaps if she had received help as a child, none of this would have happened. I suppose we are all broken in one way or another. We don't all become Veronica, but we're not saints either. I thought you didn't want to interfere with my job. Hey, who's been interfering with mine for the past week? <laughs> oh no. When are you leaving? This afternoon. When I'm done with all the paperwork, uh, if you're not busy, I know there's someone waiting for you in L.A. But Cerro Lake is beautiful this time of year, and, uh... There is someone, but I've given him far too many opportunities, and none to Cerro Lake. We could go back to Mama Louise. There are so many things I haven't tried yet.
I try to shoot you. I should have stuck to the plan. Wow. <gasps> Thanks, Kitty. Please, don't touch her. She's just a baby. Don't touch her. She's my damn daughter. <laughs> Can you point where he touched you and the doll? <laughs> we found you a new daddy. Do you understand what I'm saying? I love you too, sweetie. To the moon and back. You're not crazy, honey. Will we still be friends when I'm gone? She's your daughter, Ed. Shut up. Memuaskan ya. Oke oke oke. Gua agak kecilin dikit ya volumenya. Ya jadi ya semua misteri udah jelas ya. Esther dia tadi jadi tawanannya si Faye di dalam bunker bersama dengan New Jenny anaknya si Ed. Thanks God si New Jenny bisa hidup. Terus ya udah jelas Jenny yang pertama itu meninggal sama mamanya si Ed di kecelakaan mobil. Terus kematiannya si Faye. Siapa yang bikin Faye meninggal? Ternyata adalah Doa Nenoli Pet <laughs> Luar biasa thank you pet Thank you Kayaknya yang dikarungin itu Yang dia jadiin latihan tembak Itu yang dikarungin Dia bilang si Kitty ya Berarti si pet ini sebenarnya Dia pengen nembak si pet Tapi ternyata keganggu sama si Sam Makanya si pet nggak jadi Ketembak atau nggak kena ya mungkin terus si Kitty eh, si Pat bisa kabur dengan cara bikin lubang di di bungkusnya jadi dia dari situ dari hutan itu yang nah dia kaburnya ke mobilnya si Ed pas datang ke rumahnya si Sam nah pas mobilnya itu udah disiapkan untuk jatuh kan kucingnya kan loncat kan tuh nah kucingnya itu ngintai Emang benar si Pat ini kayak dia Wah gila sih Dari awal kita dikasih lihat si Pat itu ngelihat Faye aja Bener-bener kayak gak suka gitu Kayak banyak kecurigaan Dan benar aja Bener si Pat ini instingnya luar biasa Wah Thank you Pat Dan abis itu Si Ed bener totally innocent Di beberapa scene padahal Dia dibikin seolah-olah Ada kemampuan untuk berbuat jahat gitu Tapi ternyata enggak Mungkin ya kalau kita main lagi dan salah pilih jawaban Cutscene-nya bakalan lain oh, Gue kurang tahu juga pastinya Mungkin gue nggak akan mainin lagi Mungkin kalian yang tertarik untuk main ini nih, bisa pilih jawaban yang lain daripada pilihan-pilihan jawaban yang gue pilih mungkin gue sedikit review kali ya gue mainnya ini kan di Nintendo Switch gue beli yang limited edition karena adanya cuma yang ini sebenarnya sih bisa aja gue beli uh, versi digital cuman karena ada fisik dan ini limited jadi gue coba beli yang ini di versi yang ini tuh gue dapetnya tentu aja game fisiknya uh, dia ada dia ada kodenya sebenarnya kodenya itu untuk 
download uh, ini versi digital dari artbooknya sama uh, official soundtracknya di artbooknya ini sih keren-keren ya nah ini ada kodenya di artbooknya ini sih keren-keren kita bisa lihat semua uh, desain dari karakter-karakternya gue demen sih sama karakter-karakter ini grafiknya kalau dilihat dari artnya sama gue pernah lihat juga trailernya sebenarnya di konsol lain di Nintendo Switch ini grafiknya ya menarik sih sebenarnya cuman ya itu kalau ada shadow yang pekat jadinya nggak enak banget lihat ya seperti yang kalian bisa tonton juga dia shadownya masih berantakan banget ini nggak tahu karena apa mungkin karena masalah portingan dari konsol lain ke Nintendo Switch ya mudah-mudahan sih game-game selanjutnya uh, dia bisa maksimalin tekstur dan shadownya uh, terus minusnya lagi itu Uh, jadi itu dubbing sama scene-nya itu kadang-kadang suka sedikit miss gitu kayak ketinggalan sedikit gue juga nggak tahu karena mungkin gue mainnya di docking terus gue rekam jadi agak sedikit telat atau emang karena di porting dia jadi sistem renderingnya agak telat gitu mungkin terus habis itu suara stereonya kanan kiri ini kadang-kadang kalau pindah tuh suka berasa gitu kalau scene yang dari kiri pindah ke kanannya tuh patah jadi kayak kurang kurang seamless gitu transisinya sama musiknya kadang-kadang suka overlapping misalkan musik di pertama itu agak slow terus habis itu ada adegan serius langsung kencang kan nah tapi kencangnya itu bukan di pelan-pelanin gitu tapi di langsung deng gitu ya di beberapa scene kalian bisa Uh, lihat sih sebenarnya. Abis ngomongin jelek-jeleknya, mungkin kita ngomongin plus ya. Plusnya itu, ya gue suka banget sama bentuk fisiknya ini. Terus dapat artbooknya, artbooknya juga keren-keren. Dikeplos sama semua tim yang bekerja di game ini. Terus gue suka juga sama. Ya gamenya simple, mungkin beberapa orang nggak suka ya sama game-game kayak gini Cuman ya gue pribadi gue lebih pilih game-game yang interaktif kayak gini Yang lebih ke storytelling Karena uh, basicnya gue juga demen banget nonton film Dan gue nggak suka main game ribet-ribet sebenarnya Jadi gamenya simple tinggal pencet-pencet Udah kelar gitu kita pilih Terus uh, plusnya lagi Ya, banyak banget scene-scene intens. Ceritanya juga dibangunnya tuh menarik banget. Seru banget. Banyak cerita yang mungkin terjadi gitu di game ini. Kayak gue pikir pertama yang mungkin si Anne Claire jahat. Tante, tantenya si Ed itu jahat. Ternyata dia cuman hanya berperan di uh, Brainwash karena dia pengen si Ed itu tumbuh dengan baik. nggak mau tumbuh dengan depresi dan segala macam mungkin jadi ya kalau dia tumbuh dengan depresi jadinya kayak si Veronica terus uh, gue juga curiga sama si Ed yang seperti yang gue pernah bilang uh, dia bisa mendadak jalan terus habis itu pas di adegan sama si Adam itu ada dua pilihan beneran lu yang ngebunuh si Sam atau bukan Wah, kacau sih itu kalau misalkan pilihnya yang yes, gue nggak tahu bakalan ceritanya kemana. Ya mungkin kalian yang penasaran bisa mainin dan jangan lupa share ke gue kalau kalian main. Nah ini yang paling gue suka dari game ini adalah musik dan skornya. Jadi musiknya sama background musiknya itu benar-benar keren banget, mantep banget, gue suka banget kebetulan gue beberapa hari lalu juga udah nonton film Vertigo yang tahun 58, yang asli bikinan dari Alfred Hitchcock nya sendiri 
itu gue nonton dan feelnya itu feel musiknya ya terutama ya feel musiknya itu benar-benar kuat banget sama kayak di film Vertigo yang pertama jadi uh, suara biola dan itu itu ciri khasnya itu benar-benar mirip banget sama film Vertigo tahun 58 jadi gue demen banget kalau soal cerita ya beda ya beda banget ceritanya kalian boleh nonton film yang itu itu filmnya juga menarik dan endingnya bikin nyesek makanya gue takutnya tuh endingnya bakal sama kayak itu ternyata tidak ya kalau dari skor gue kasih uh, overall aja ya nggak usah spesifik apa apanya overall aja gue kasih delapan per sepuluh ya boleh 8 oke okay, kayaknya menurut gue karena semuanya itu uh, ketolong sama cerita dan musiknya sih untuk uh, game yang enjoy dimaininnya ceritanya ya bikin jantung deg-degan bikin kesel bikin semuanya lah pokoknya terus satu kenapa gue nggak suka si dokter lumes sama si siapa si Arif Reis karena si Arif Reis itu kan dia selingkuh ya sama papahnya si eh sorry sama mamahnya si Ed jadi dia kayak pelakor gitu loh sementara si Dr. Lomas juga udah punya pasangan sebenarnya si Lo itu tapi gue nggak tahu kasusnya mereka apa ya udah kalau misalkan emang si Sir Freyes mau berubah, si Dokter Lumas memang sudah e, tidak ada hubungan sama si Lo. Ya mereka bersatu ya nggak apa-apa. Kalau misalkan jadi lebih baik. Ya mungkin gitu aja kali ya sedikit e, review gua untuk game Afraid Six Cup Vertigo. Mudah-mudahan kalian suka sama permainan gua. Yang kurang puas mungkin bisa beli game ya terus mainin sendiri thank you banget semua yang udah nonton dari awal sampai akhir kita ketemu di game-game lainnya ya dadah